Hey guys, welcome back. Um, it's Fred with Ag New Arts and Abstracts and my cameraman, Dominic, of course, helping me out as usual. <laughs> Say hi, son. Hello. He's shy, but he's awesome. So, at this time, we have all of our background tape off original lines taped now. We are going to start backfilling all these different tape off lines and start drawing some depth out of here and some crazy colors. So I've got a, a little selection of tools here. Um, first thing that we did is I have metallic bronze. I want colors that are going to pop and just be crazy and fun. Another color that I have here is neon green. Another one, right? Just jump off the canvas. Have a good time. We have some neon orange. So we can get a little bit of pop in there. As well as a neon blue. Okay, so you're seeing a the theme here. Lots of crazy colors. I have a brand new product that I personally have never used. But it, it intrigued me, so I thought we got to give it a whirl. Um, it's a metallic paint collection put out by Modern Masters. Not a plug for them by any means, but it definitely was an interesting product. So I thought I want to check it out on this painting and uh, see what's up. But it is a, a Venetian blue opaque satin finish. So don't really know what to expect at this. Super cool color. Caught my eye at the art store and uh, we had to get it. So we're going to try it. And then of course, trusty sponge brushes. These are going to come in handy for you. And I've got two different palette knives. I have a round edge, which is going to be nice to work in our parameters here. And we also have an angled edge. But let's go ahead and start. I've got some of our bronze here, the metallic bronze already applied in some spots and I have some spots here waiting. So we're going to start moving so we don't lose some of these. Because um, I don't want to mingle too much because we want our colors to stay clean. So I'm going to pull this guy and get these all in here. And just like that. And again, it's going to give us some different textures, some different looks. We're getting some different spots peppered in here. It's going to be pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoy this one. This one's going to be pretty neat. This one's definitely one of the fun ones that I've been doing for sure, I would say. Matter of fact, is it yesterday you told me I shouldn't have done it as a geometric babe? Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, my wife's like, I love all your paintings, but this one was better as a not a geometric. So if you guys want to chime into that, feel free. Put a comment in there. <laughs> Let me know what you think. But this one right now is going to be a geometric. We can always redo another one here with you guys. And, we'll make uh, more. We'll make a lot more for sure. So this is looking pretty awesome. Just, just having fun getting these spots in there and kind of enjoying it. So I'm going to clean my, clean my bronze off of here to start with. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to start getting some of our orange in here. So I want our orange to really a little on right here. So we're going to do something like that. We're going to do some over here. Yeah, I'm going to take my little, little knife you like and just kind of blend this in. Nothing too critical here guys, just having fun working with paint. Biggest thing I would say is make sure you're getting good coverage. Um, making sure that you're actually getting all of your background color done and over now where you're a little little light on some spots don't worry about it you can come back with some other stuff here in a little bit right now we are just getting started so 
these are all of our basic things. We're going to bring this one right into here. Pull some of this guy over. All right? You're just having fun. Creating that piece of art where someone walks in and says, wow, where did you do that or where did you get that idea from? And yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to definitely be neat when it's all done. Blend them through. I know it's a lot of painting. A lot of uh, looking at the back of my head. <laughs> Hopefully I don't have too many bald spots back there. Try to keep it entertaining for you guys. I'm sure if I ask my son, he'd tell me I got way too many bald spots. A few. A few? <laughs> There's a few, not too many. I can live with a few. So let me just kind of work these in here like this. Just kind of playing with some of these, getting some, some different colors in here, like that. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. All right. some of it out and smooth some of this one out here. Okay. Come over here. Get a little bit. Right over here. Hopefully you can see this and I'm not in your guys' way. But you'll see it when I'm all done. When I get out of the way, it'll be it'll be visible. It's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah, like that. I think I want a little more orange over here still. Kind of draws our draws our eye, you know, something to catch our eye and make us double take, if you will, and be like, wow, what is that? That, my friends, kind of, honestly, is what you don't want to do. <laughs> but it landed on my tape, so we are all good. so we don't get too carried away with that orange right out of the gate. Kind of reminds me of hunting season. A little fluorescent orange here for any of the big game hunter fans we have. It's always a cool color to We're at nine minutes. keep in mind. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and get ready to do another one um, because we're only good for 10 minutes per video here so hang tight and I'll be right back with you. Thank you very much.